This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. Alumni Stadium packed to the brim on Friday night for a classic D10 football matchup. The John F. Ross Royals and the Centennial Spartans meeting under the lights. The Spartans, the defending D10 champions, looking to start the season off strong and go back to back. The Royals looking to punch up and find a statement win on Friday. Jumping into the first quarter and it's the Royals offense coming out hot. Tim Nixon completes to Isaac Misner and Isaac's good for a Ross first down. And on the next play, it's Nixon finding Nathan Guth in the middle, and Nathan brings the ball to the red zone. And later on that same possession, it's the Royals on first and goal, punching it over the line! Tim Nixon picks up the TD, and it's 7-0 Royals early in this one. The Spartans look to keep pace, and it's a high ball from Miller Wedding. Liam Smith brings it down just over the Ross 40, and the Spartans move downfield. The Royals would turn the ball over, but look out for the Spartans' defense. Grenier Atwell picks it off in the middle! Grenier turns tail and takes off. He's tripped up, but he stays on his feet. Drew McQueen takes him out just short of the line. The Spartans would need a finisher, and how about Jackson the shock on the run? It's a good collision on the one yard line, but Jackson rolls over into the end zone. That's a nice drive from the shock, and we're all squared up at 7 7. Jumping to the second quarter, now the Royals punting and watch for the return. Caden Butt picks it up at the 45, stutter steps a tackle, and takes off. It's a beauty return from Caden. He brings it all the way back to the 21-yard line, and the Spartans set up the score. The Spartans' offense back in the picture now look to finish the job. This is Lucas Medulin on the carry for Centennial. He tunnels through the middle, keeps his feet moving, and dives into the end zone for a touchdown. So the Spartans have their first lead of the game. 14-7 Spartans, now the Royals back with the ball look to answer. Look out for number 10 in purple, Gurnier Atwal. He reads the play and picks off the pass. That's Gurnier's second interception of the night. Drew McQueen in on the tackle, stops the pick six. The Spartans offense back in the red zone now look to capitalize. Miller Wedig launches a pass to the end zone. Matt Stam brings it down for the touchdown. What a catch from Matt Stam. And the Spartans are out front, 21-7. Late in the quarter, now the Royals looking to cut into the Spartans lead. It's a fake punt and run from Isaac Misener. He converts on a first down and the Royals move downfield. The Royals on the Spartan five now and watch the trick play. It's a fake handoff and the Spartans defense eat it. Tim Nixon trots in for a touchdown. That's Nixon's second TD of the night and it's 21-14 Spartans heading to the half. On the other side of the half now, the Spartans on second and 25 off to run it. This is Lucas Medulin flying through the middle and trampling Royals. Tyler Williams gets a hold of him and takes him down with a clutch tackle. A nice run from Lucas and the Spartans would give it back to him. He's good for another first down as Ben Neer topples him in the red zone. Centennial set up to score, and it's Jackson Lashuck taking the rock and charging the checkerboard. And he's in there! And it's 28-14 Spartans. Head to the fourth quarter, now the Royals trailing by a pair of touchdowns, but this one was far from over. It's another long bomb from Tim Nixon. He completes to Isaac Missner. Isaac makes the catch and cuts back inside. Nathan Lukowski gets enough of him to bring him down at the 35-yard line. The Royals in Spartans territory look to capitalize. It's some nice footwork from Nixon. He lets another deep pass fly. Muhammad Idris picks it off in the middle. A nice interception from Muhammad, but the Royals defense would turn the ball over. And now come the Ross offense with another chance to cut into the deficit. It's a couple good first down passes for Troy McDonald. He's coming up clutch and the Royals set up the score. The Royals on the punch job once again, and it's Tim Nixon diving over the top for another touchdown. And with a successful two-point conversion, it's 28-22 Spartans with four and a half minutes left to play. Later in the quarter, now the Royals back with the ball look for a miracle. Tim Nixon completes to Reed Williams, and the Royals move downfield. One minute left on the clock now, Nixon looks down the middle for Troy McDonald, and Troy's in there for the go-ahead touchdown! And just like that, it's 29-28 Royals with 55 seconds left on the clock. The Spartans with one last possession, funding for an answer. It's Matt Stam with the rock looking to find the corner. It's two huge blocks from Lucas Medulin, and Matt toasts the sideline. He's into the red zone, and the Spartans would get a chance to kick for the win. All the pressure on the Spartans kicker, Mohamed Idris, as he steps up for a make-or-break field goal. It's a clean snap, and Idris slams it through the uprights! What a moment and what a game as the Centennial Spartans fight back in the final minute and take it over the JF Ross Royals. This one ending with a final score of 31-29 on Friday night.
Hey man, we started losing focus. It wasn't the best, but like, you know, you know us, we had to turn up at the end and we brought it back to the crib. So yeah, team did an amazing part. Defense was locked in at the end. We know what we had to do. Our running back, Lucas Medlin, he's a dog, man. He started teeing up at the end and he got that first down for us for me to kick the field goal. Love him.